Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Today we will be talking about the last OP08 revealed leader which is none other than a favorite Chandorian warrior Kalgara himself. And I know most of you guys have thought that Nami is going to be the last leader, myself included because most leakers and most rumors were talking about a new Nami leader and I think no one really expected Kalgara to appear and it was quite a nice surprise actually because I think this is some sort of um, fresh new deck that people are going to play and are going to have fun because um, we can take a closer look at its effect so you guys know what he does. Basically he is full yellow so he has 5 life and he has the types Jaya, Sky Island and Shandorian warriors pretty common as of now so his effect for one dawn when attacking put a character with the shandorian warriors type from your hand into the play that has cost equal to or less uh, than the number of dawn you control then if you play the card put the top card of your life into your hand what does this mean basically if you use his effect at dawn 5 so you have attached one dawn to him you have four uh, active dawn remaining which makes a total of five then you can play a shandorian warrior who has a total cost of five or less so basically you could uh, play at the late game phase of the game where you own most likely 10 dawn you can attach one dawn to him attack and then you have a total of 10 dawn in your control on your field and you could potentially play a 10 cost shandorian warrior if such a card is going to be revealed announced leaked etc i mean i can see uh, a big 10 cost uh, boss monster shandorian warrior it really has to be balanced though because we cannot put such a big character so effortlessly on field without him being overpowered so basically he really has to be a mid type of boss monster to be uh how do i say it he has to be summoned this way specifically and it has to be like worth to actually summon him from hand rather than playing him for uh, 10 dawn if you guys know what I mean so you could design a card which is like all right or rather pretty mid for a 10 cost but if you do not have to waste 10 dawn to play him then it would fit more so basically you could design a character a 10 cost card character which is worth like a 5 dawn character if you guys kind of know what I mean that it would not make such a huge difference because if you look at let's say what is a typical tank cost look at the green tank cost of Flamingo he is that strong and this is also why you really need to use and rest 10 dawns for him to fully take use of his uh, of his effects and of his power and you guys know what I mean but consider this if you have such a strong character and he is that easily summoned with just one dawn you have to simply wait to reach your 10th dawn then this would not be healthy you really need to design a tankos character or 9 or 8 or whatever cost character which is not worth to play at the designed cost but it's rather worth to play with one dawn and him being like a better three cost five cost four cost whatever it is just to have this kind of balance um, uh, because he is summoned rather easy i think by now i have explained myself quite a bit so this is the first thing i have thought about when i saw his effect i mean in the uh, early game mid game this would be more powerful if it's actually the way i think it will be 
I think that his strength will be more in the early and the mid game because this is where you actually play like four, five, six cost characters that are worth five, four, six dawn. This is where you get more um, dawn efficiency because you actually just used one dawn, you attacked and then summoned a character. I mean, yes, you have to sacrifice the life, you are getting your life from your life but to your hand, but uh, looking at the fact that you're yellow, you can heal yourself. What is one card to play for a 10 cost, especially if you only use one Dawn for it? I mean, this does not look like a healthy trade. I mean, giving one Dawn and one life for a 10 cost character and then still having nine Dawn left to play something like seven cost mom or some other big bodies which are nine dawn or less to potentially heal yourself or playing an event where you can heal yourself i don't know what what the shandorian type um, characters will be and what they can do and what events they will uh, we, uh, they will be getting who knows you will be having nine active dawn remaining once you have used this effect and you have played your 10 drop character there is plenty of room to make out for the fact that you have just uh, uh, took like one damage, let's say. I mean, there is a lot of room for recovery. This is what I mean. And by all means, I don't think that he's overpowered. Really not. I think that he is uh, mid to okay-ish. He is really, really okay. I mean, he is not overpowered, he is not bad, he is not broken, he is not useless, none of that. I mean, as of now, he is like in, in the kind of fun, maybe sweet spot area, I would say, somewhere in between. We really have to, uh, we really have to wait and see how the big body Shandorian types are designed, because as I've said, there is... There is not really a drawback if you use Wand on, take a life and play a Tankos character because you have that much possibilities to recover yourself from the uh, life you have taken. And most of the times you don't really care if you would take a life. I mean, you are yellow. Most of the times you want to get in the lower range. We are speaking of one or two lives, maybe even zero, because that's uh, when most cards are using their effects for example ace you cannot use the effect from rush ace if you have like five or three um uh lives you really have to be in the uh, lower uh, lower area and uh, you cannot use the um big mom type characters i mean you could use the seven cost big mom but you cannot use the ten cost big mom because it does not work that would be like <sighs> That would be like too powerful but you get what i'm saying basically i think the fact that he only plays shandorian warriors and the fact that he has nine dawn or whatever much dawn he has at the turn still available after playing a character really does make out for the fact that he has to take a life and I think that uh, we will see some cards where he can simply gain a life or recover uh, his life with some investment, no matter how it is. I personally think that Kalgara will be a fun and most likely annoying matchup, but I don't see him being stronger or as strong as the other leaders potentially. I mean, he is stronger than the um than uh what's her name uh we have chopper and man i really gotta scroll down because i cannot think of a name carrot he really is stronger than chopper and carrot but he is not stronger than marco and he is not stronger than king and pudding this is what i'm feeling like because if you compare him to pudding pudding is ramping pudding has another strong color pool pudding has access to big mom 
all of the big mums. Pudding can play the seven cost, Pudding can play the ten cost, Pudding can play Katakuri, Pudding can play the Pudding Searcher and she can pretty much do anything she wants. With the big mum pirates we are also getting big mum pirate support so this is nothing compared to the Shandorian warriors because I have just prepared this for you guys. Uh, just a quick look. We only have five not even viable options, these are our only options, because as of now, Reject is banned or is going to be banned. As soon as OP8 uh, is going to be uh, releasing, we are not uh, allowed to use Reject anymore, so forget about that. The only viable card is Viper, because he is your 5-drop um, 7k searcher, this is okay. Maybe Raki, because she is your... Pseudo blocker, she is no true blocker, so uh, maybe, maybe not. And those three cards, Braham, Gembo, and Kamakiri, are uh, not to be mentioned. Just not to be mentioned. So, this is something to keep in mind. We really have to see what support he gets. Uh, if his support cards are mm, underwhelming, he will be underwhelming as well, sadly. We know for a fact that the big mom type cards are strong and will be strong and that the leader is strong. We also know for a fact that King has an amazing color pool, black and purple, also having access to the Animal Kingdom Pirates uh, archetype is insane. He has access to big, big and strong bodies and also the same thing with Marco, him having arguably one of the strongest and most versatile powerful combination not the colors there's a big difference in seeing strong colors and strong color combination because red and blue they they are working well together we only had the problem that the last leader i think there's only vivi if i'm not mistaken the last leader who had red and blue <laughs> I, I, it really sucks to talk about Vivi because they made her that bad that she cannot attack. That was such a mistake. This was like the only thing that made Vivi really bad. And they have learned. They have learned, truly. But I think Marco having red and blue. Also the possibilities to play white beards. Him getting new support. We have already seen some new support cards. This is insane. This is really, really insane. I mean, if you look at Carrot and Chopper, I mean, yes, Chopper is the uh, uh, animal type. Animal is pretty underwhelming. Drum Kingdom is also underwhelming as well. He has access to the Straw Hat crew, so he can play some types that actually require your leader to be Straw Hat type crew. I mean, this is uh, pretty much okay-ish uh, straw hat is it's uh, it's all right it's up there but red and green they have proven to be either really strong like like uh, red green law uh, was or not that strong like the red and green uh, supernova luffy was we have seen how this color combination can struggle but also can succeed really well and this is why I don't see much hope for Chopper, especially because of his mediocre effect. Activate main once per turn, put up to one rested on, each on up to three of your animal or drum, ca uh, drum kingdom type characters. This is underwhelming. This is... it's not strong, it's not fast, it's really... there is... it's not control... It, it, it's it's no true red, it's no true green, it has some aspects of both of them, but not enough. This is why I think the chopper is going to be flying a bit low. Same with carrot. The only advantage carrot really has is that she's a uh, monocolor green, so she has one more life. And her effect is a bit better. Um, activate main once per turn. If you have a character with the Minx type in play, rest up to one of your opponents, cost 5 or less characters. The range is pretty good. It 
really is good because simply resting a straight up 5 cost for green is strong. But this is the problem, you have to play Minx, at least some of them. There are not that many, but you are required to play Minx. And you are required to have them on your field to use this effect. I see Carrot a bit different than Chopper. I'm not going to say that she's stronger or, or, or weaker or anything like that, but those two are they're above uh, above um, under all of all of the uh, OP08 leaders so basically Marco is above them King is above them the pudding is truly above them and I also think that Kalgara is stronger than carrot and chopper um, this is <laughs> if you want this is my type of tier list as of now with just seeing uh, one or two support cards for each deck. I mean, we have seen some. This is, for example, the Queen Searcher. Fun fact, you cannot search Queen in the King deck because, uh, as the card says, except for Queen. So basically, he is a Black Searcher, but you cannot search the Purple Queen Blocker. This is pretty... Um, it's pretty disappointing but this is how spelling how naming works if your character is named queen and he searches your deck you cannot search any other queens except for uh, searches that actually rest active dawn to uh, search for example the supernova bonnie or the baby five from the don quixote so basically this is your uh your most simple searcher you cannot search queen uh that's pretty sad but king can live with it then we have seen another black support this is your big big boy this is your biggest of all the big boys because jack right here is your seven drop eight thousand body which is actually your 11 cost guys this character has plus four cost at any time no matter what's happening no matter what you're doing no matter what your opponent is doing this character has a cost of 11 so have fun with him getting <laughs> getting on your nerves because you have to invest a lot of freaking Don to get rid of him. You can, but he is a 11 cost. Do not forget about that if you face him in the near future. Basically what he um, what he does is you can either attack with him or you can rest him, filter your card because um, his effect says activate main. You may rest this card, draw one card and trash one card, then KO up to one of your opponents cost free or lower characters so basically this is really strong you want to have jack on your field you want him to be a menace you are protecting him and he is going to be rested every turn and he is going to take one of your opponent's characters basically for free and he also cycles your hand this is insane because you are doing black things you are first of all cycling your hand which is pretty strong and you are also uh, killing something i mean this card is more than a powerhouse he really is as i've said this is your big boy this is this is some strong black type of card so keep that in mind and we have seen some promo cards for um i mean not for uh, with luffy ace and zabo um, all of them have pretty decent effects, none of them are overwhelming or underwhelming, I would not talk about them. Um, specifically if you want to read those just pause the video, this is Luffy, this is Ace and this is Sabo. And for Marco we actually have gotten some cards, we have gotten the new Jozo card where he actually returns uh, two cards. 
from the field i will show it to you guys in the video right now with the uh, card effect explained and we also have this uh, blue ace card here um your five cost 6k body 1k counter on play reveal the top uh, first card of your deck you may put into play up to one character with the type white with pirates uh, and the cost of four or less after this return the remaining cards to the top or bottom of the deck so basically we have some solid support um, as of now for marco we have some amazing support for queen we are surely getting more and more support and we are going to see also some new Shandorian cards this is something we can be sure of i'm not sure if he's going to be strong enough strong enough to play in like the the first league the s type of league a type of league who knows who really knows we gotta wait we gotta see what shandorian warrior type cards we are getting what support he is getting but i think that kagara is a strong leader i think he has a solid effect and that's uh, that most people are going to play him simply because him him being a uh, monocolor yellow this is this is worth so much guys because look at katakuri him being a straight yellow character having five life simply having one more life means so so much for yellow and kalgara being a monocolor leader is insane this helps him out tremendously so keep that in mind basically guys this is it and i hope you guys enjoyed the video so far and if we are getting some new and exciting op08 news i mean we still uh, are uh clueless about rayleigh and whitebeat here from the artwork for op08 everybody thought we are getting rayleigh leader and a new whitebeard leader then the leaks happened and we have seen as of now the leaders so there are some spots left i mean these could be some strong secret rare cards these could be some strong super rares or some strong vanillas depending how the decks are going to be designed but um these are like the last few big announcements that we can uh, expect for op08 i mean we will be getting some new big and strong um cards uh and i will be talking about them once they get revealed so guys as i've said basically this is it thank you guys for watching if you like this video please make sure to leave a like subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video peace